Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another makeup tutorial. This look is actually going to be a more affordable makeup look and it's going to be doing... And I'm going to be using a vampy lip. I've actually been wanting to use this lipstick in a tutorial. I think I've used it before but it's been a hot minute since I've done that. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. This is one of my favorite dark vampy lips and even though fall is pretty much out the door, <clears throat> excuse me, I still think winter is very appropriate for dark lips so I definitely wanted to use this. And also this is a lot more toned down than the last holiday inspired makeup tutorial that I did which was like my Christmas tutorial. So in case that was a little too extra for you, this is a little bit more toned down, it's a little bit more warm in the eyes but still vampy on the lips. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah let's go ahead and get started and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I've primed my lids using the NYX eyeshadow base and the Smashbox 24 hour photo finishing primer. I'm going to take this first color by Makeup Geek and this is Creme Brulee. You guys requested for me to use more Makeup Geek eyeshadows, so here it is. I'm using this as a transitional color. This is just going to help me create and blend all the colors seamlessly. So I'm going to use this in the crease and on the outer corner as well. I'm really going to pack it on so I can get really intense color even though it is a transition it is a really soft like a peachy creamy color so I'm just going to pack that on and blend it as I go next I'm going to move on to cocoa bear which is a dark red brown this one right here and I'm going to apply it with a stiffer brush and then I'm going to go in and blend it out I'm concentrating this more on the outer corner and doing the same thing on the outer eye this is just going to bring a lot more warmth to the eyes and that's really what I was going for Now I'm going to go into this Luxie eyeshadow and this is the number 26. This reminds me a lot of Americano by Makeup Geek. So if you have that eyeshadow, this is like the perfect color. I don't own that one, but I think I need to get my hands on it. So that's what I'm going to use just to deepen up that outer corner a little bit. I didn't want to use black, so I went with that. Now I'm going to go in with this Super Shock Shadow in DGAF. And as you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous it applies so nicely onto the lids I really like to pack it on I go back maybe two or three times and pack it on all over the lid it is the most gorgeous rose gold pink with like orange to it it's a really pretty color so I'm just going to apply that to the lids and then I'm going to go in with a little bit more of cocoa bear and I'm going to blend everything out and then after that I'm ready to move on to my wing liner I definitely wanted to do the super dramatic wing like I usually do um, just because I felt like this look needed it so I did my regular wing I do have a full-on tutorial on how I do it I kind of sped it up just because you guys have seen this a few times now to the lower lash line I like to do the exact same steps I take um, Cocoa Bear first by Makeup Geek and then I go into that Luxie eyeshadow number 26 and I just further blend it out just to give it a little bit more smokiness again but without doing black I really like doing this because I feel like it opens up my eyes especially me that I have really large eyes I feel like it goes so well when I do a smoky lower lash line and for me it's a must Now I'm going to do this to my waterline. I'm applying the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Or actually this is a primer and I'm just applying that to the waterline to open them up even more. This is going to really make my eyes look really nice and big. Now I'm going to move on to concealer. I did apply my foundation and I've been using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I will have the numbers that I use in the info bar down below. But I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Sand Sable. This is my holy grail concealer. I've gone through at least like two or three tubes. So I'm just going to take that to the chin, to the middle of my forehead. And then with a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend everything out. I know that beauty blenders are not drugstore affordable, but you can definitely use the Real Techniques, um, what's it called? 
the blending, the beauty blender, wow, brain fart, and you can just use that to blend it out. Mine was dirty, and I really didn't feel like cleaning it, and let's be real. So now I'm going to go in with the NYC Translucent Powder. This has quickly become my favorite um, powder to set my concealer. Now I am dry, so I'm not going to bake too heavily because I do feel like my skin looks like a viejita, like like super arrugada. So I'm going to want to bronzer. This is the e.l.f. pressed bronzer in Cabo Cabana. I love this bronzer and I don't know why I don't use it as often, but now that I found it again, I'm definitely going to use it. So I'm just going to bring some warmth back into my cheeks and I'm going to take a pretty big uh, brush and blend that out. Now I'm going to take this blush and this is another one of my favorites this is by city color cosmetics i don't remember the name but it's one of the lightest ones i will again have the name in the link down below so make sure to check that out because there's a lot of information down there now i'm going to move on to highlights and this is one by physicians formula it's one of their brick highlights again i don't know the name but i will have it down below so i'm just going to kind of swirl it around where the pink and the gold and the yellow highlights are and I'm going to mix them all together make a little concoction and then apply it to my cheekbones you guys know that I love glowing to the gods so definitely go heavy hand or go light hand it's all personal preference then after that I'm going to take this NYX soft matte lip cream in Transylvania and that is the completed look I really hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.